Hi friends, this is Soft Reason. In today edition Soft Lessons, we will be uh, look, looking at uh, a question. Okay? And so the question says that we should analyze and design a suitable reinforced concrete water stand carrying a water of height 2500 millimeter in a suitable water tank. If FCU, which is the characteristics of a uh, characteristic strength of concrete is equals to 25 newton per millimeter square and fy equals to 410 newton per millimeter square i actually call these questions uh, masters of engineering questions okay and so if you look at this question uh, critically you will notice that uh, the question they didn't give a specific uh, water tank as in they did not tell you the water tank should be a rectangular tank or a square tank or a circular tank you are the one to make your choice but you must consider this height and so before we go into this lesson i will want you to like the lesson uh, if you have not subscribed do it to subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson and take your time to go through the lesson so as to understand all the calculation that has been carried out in this lesson okay let's start so the solution i assume a circular gp tank of diameter 1.5 okay so the height of the tank has been given in the question which is 2500 millimeter okay and the assumed diameter which is a 1500 millimeter okay and the parameters in the question are as follows the height of the tank h equals 2.5 meter which is this one okay the diameter of the tank d equals 1.5 meter thrust radius which is half of uh, 1500 which is 0 0.7 meter okay and so uh the total weight of uh, water in the tank mind you what we are trying to calculate in this uh, question is we need to get the total pressure or the weight of this tank okay so we can use it to design the reinforced concrete stance elements uh, the reinforced concrete water stance uh, elements so such as the beam the slab as well as the columns that will be carrying all of the load okay and so the total weight of water in the tank w equals volume of water v multiplied by the unit weight of water small w you can see bigger w and small w okay so this small w is the unit weight of water okay which is equals to the acceleration due to gravity so the volume of water in the tank v equals to area of tank a multiply by the height of the tank which is h okay uh, so in a formula i have dust v which is the volume equals area a multiplied by the height okay uh, but area a equals pi radio square okay which is the area of the circular uh, part of the tank okay uh, so area is cost 3.142 this one is the volume of the pi okay and so multiply by 0 0.7 square which is the radius the answer gives for 1.54 meter squares which is the area okay and so thrust volume of tank v will now be this one which is the area 1.54 five four multiply by two point five okay which is equals to three point eight five meter cube so this is the volume of the water in this tank okay so let's continue all right this has been stated earlier okay so we have w which is the weight of the tank water weight of the water in the tank okay equals v multiplied by small w which is the unit weight okay we are small w is 9.8 meter 
0708 per meter square. All right. This one is constant. Okay. This the unit weight is constant. Okay. So dust W is equals 3.85 meter cube multiplied by 9.807 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay. If so, if you do a simple arithmetic here, you will notice that this cubic meter, this cubic meter will cancel out. Okay. So once this cubic meter and this cubic meter is being cancelled out, you multiply 3.85 by 9.807 kN. And this will give you W, which is the weight of water in the tank, to be 37.757 kN. Okay? So this is the weight of water in the tank okay and this is equivalent to a point load okay mind you all what we are calculating to have is the load that we use to design the reinforced concrete elements that we carry the tank so this is just this is a point load okay we have to convert this point load to uniformly distributed load okay which is the UDL and the unit is in kilonewton per meter square now I want to let you know uh, one important thing here okay now the unit of a UDL consists of two kinds okay you can have the unit to be kilonewton per meter and the unit, unit can also be kilonewton per meter square okay but when it has to do with a kilonewton per meter, it has to do with a linear uh, loading. Okay, linear loading such as a simply supported beam, a continuous beam. Okay, but when it comes to area loading, then it has to be in this kilonewton per meter square. Okay, all right. So let's proceed. Uh, so the surface area of the tank X is equal to pi radius square okay so for us to be able to achieve this for us to be able to achieve converting kilonewton to kilonewton per meter square we will have to divide uh, the weight okay by the surface area of the tank okay so let's proceed so we have a surface area equals to pi radius square okay which is equals to 3.142 which is the volume of the pi multiplied by the radius okay which is 0 0.7 okay square all right so once you carry out simple arithmetic here you have 1.539 meter square which is the area okay so we'll be consider now the pressure at the base of the tank because it is this pressure that will actually use to design the reinforced concrete and so the pressure at the base of the tank p is equals to the bigger w okay this one this bigger w okay divided by the surface area okay this will give us the pressure at the base of the tank okay so we continue thus p equals to 37.757 device 1.539 all in kilonewton per meter square okay and so why the reason is because this one here is in kilonewton okay and the the, the denominator is in uh, meter square so by the time you divide this you will be average kilonewton per meter square okay so let's proceed so once you carry out simple arithmetic here you will be having p equals 24.533 up to three decimal places in kilonewton per meter square so this one is the uda which is the pressure at the base of the tank okay which is the 
uniformly distributed load so this is the load we will be using to carry out the analysis as well as the design of the reinforced concrete elements okay so this load is acting uh, on this uh, on the reinforced concrete stand that will carry this tank okay so this tank now filled with water okay to the height of uh, 2500 millimeter is generating this load to the uh, reinforced concrete stand okay so we want to do a little checking if what we have done is actually correct because in every calculation i think the best thing to do is to carry out some checkings there is a formula that states that uh, uh, pressure is equals to uh, w multiplied by h okay i think the unit weight of the pressure of water in a tank is the unit weight of the uh, the unit weight of the water multiplied by the uh, multiplied by the height of the water. So we want to use that uh, particular uh, formula now to check what we have done if we are at the same page with these calculations. So let's proceed. All right, so we have a simple check here, okay? That says pressure equals to pressure P is equals to W multiplied by H, okay? So therefore, pressure equals to 9.807 kN per meter square multiplied by 2.5 meter, okay? And so in this case, once as soon as you multiply this by this, you notice that uh, uh, meter square and meter will be cancelled and the one will be left with is kilonewton per meter okay and once you multiply you have 24.51 which is not too far from the answer we have gotten here okay this place we have 25 24.533 up to three decimal places kilonewton per meter square okay but here we have p which is the pressure equals to 24.517 kilonewton per meter only okay and so the difference between this one and this is this meter square and this meter that is why you have to follow this procedure to be able to get the right uh, units okay so as not to fail the uh, to fail the question the answer to the question because in engineering calculations units is very very important okay so this is what we'll be continuing this one will be continued with as to design our reinforced concrete okay you can see that this one now is also a uniformly distributed load but is considering it linearly okay this is considering considering the loading in a linear uh, directions okay while this one is considering it in area and so this is the right one to be used when it comes to designing a reinforced concrete that will be able to carry the water tank with water okay so this is the uh, lesson uh, so you do where to support the channel for more video lesson like the video subscribe and Stay tuned for more advanced lessons. Bye.